What is the first thing that a private equity firm does after acquiring a company? Private equity investors used to be berated for their treatment of companies they acquired. They would often take on too much debt, lay off workers and sell the company's most valuable assets. Nowadays, the industry has changed a lot. Now they have a specific plan to make the business they acquire more valuable. Listed companies have a more challenging time executing this strategy due to the pressure of meeting shareholders' diverse expectations and managing market speculation. The most essential point to remember is that today's private equity firms aim to improve a firm's value via strategic and operational improvements. The get-rich-quick days are over. The truth is that private equity firms won't be able to make returns simply by cutting costs anymore because today's market valuations are already high. You need revenue growth and margin expansion to be successful. There are many ways to grow your business. You could expand your sales and marketing team, develop new products or enter new markets. In addition, making more acquisitions can help drive growth. You need a business with room to grow and healthy margins if you're looking to sell it. Having a great valuation is key to achieving returns. After the deal, what happens? Private equity firms leave almost nothing to chance when agreeing to a takeover deal. Typically, they will have spent months researching a company, consulting with industry experts and doing comprehensive due diligence. So they have a clear plan for what they want to do once the sale is finalized. The first few months are very important. This is a common thought process within private equity. The first 100. The 100-day plan is designed to achieve maximum impact as quickly as possible. The top of the priority list is usually dealing with issues discovered during due diligence. Getting the appropriate reporting in place quickly is equally critical. To move the business forward, PE firms need to track how performance drivers are doing. After that, then come the bigger strategic issues. This might involve making new hires or shutting down non-essential operations. It might also involve testing and fine-tuning the ideas generated throughout the research and investigation process. Capital and experience Access to capital is a key weapon in the private equity arsenal. This is especially significant for little firms that may be restricted in their strategic alternatives due to a lack of capital. Some shareholders may not be able to provide more money and, on their own, smaller firms may not be able to get bank financing that would be beneficial. Buy and Build The buy and build method is a strategy used quite frequently by private equity firms. This method involves buying an existing company and then growing it through strategic acquisitions. To put it simply, it involves acquiring a small or medium-sized business, expanding it through further acquisitions and improving operations as you go. The larger business may, for example, be able to offer a wider range of products to more people or negotiate better supplier terms. Independently operated small businesses may not have the ability to expand using this model. It's not only about cash, it's also about having the knowledge. Private equity firms have sold businesses countless times, but most small companies have not experienced this process. After a private equity firm acquires your company, what will it do? Here are six things to know. 1. The PE firm wants the founder to stay with the company after the sale. They'll want the founder to stay because they know they can grow and develop the company. In many cases, PE firms include earnouts as part of their deals with you. This means that the founder's compensation from the sale of the company is tied to its continued performance. Just bear in mind, if you sell your company to a PE firm, you will need to stay on as an employee. So put that yacht order on hold. 2. You will be fired or leave. Sounds odd, but it's important to keep in mind that at some point you will likely be fired or leave the company on your own accord. This is due to conservative environments like banks not mixing well with entrepreneurial behavior like aggressive decision-making and calculated risk-taking. 
they make their selections based on thorough information, spreadsheets and analytics. This can be incredibly frustrating for entrepreneurs who know their business intimately and make decisions on feel. It might take up to a year for constrictions and tensions to arise between both parties. That is why so many of these entrepreneurs decide to leave or be terminated before then. 3. Got debt? When a private equity firm takes control of a company, it will often add debt to it. A large amount of debt, often around four to five times EBITDA. That may be startling since most businesses are conservative when it comes to debt, especially if they require a line of credit to assist deal with cash flow fluctuations. When you take on that much debt for your firm though, it may hinder your ability to function. PE firms do this to get the most cash back from a deal. They may make a lot more money by putting just a little bit of cash up front and leveraging the company with debt. It is common, so expect it to happen. 4. It might look like they are running the business PE firms are known for being ruthless in their business practices and won't hesitate to get rid of any inefficient or redundant aspects of your company, no matter how scared they may be to the founder. The details that a founder knows are important to the running of the business might not be immediately obvious to a private equity firm, as such they will analyse everything. A good example is if you have any relatives working in the firm who aren't top performers, you can say goodbye to them. There aren't many different types of things you can purchase with your business's money. These include real estate, company cars, sports boxes, private planes and even the company yacht. A private equity will look to dispose of them all immediately. 5. Private equity will make you sweat Well, they will make your assets sweat. Many business owners focus on their P&L statements, where they can see their margins and profits, while others ignore the balance sheet or at least don't manage it aggressively. A PE firm will buy a company and then use its assets to make as much money as possible, especially if there is any extra cash. You'll have to prepare for the fact that PE firms will begin to collect any money owed from your clients while also expanding the supplier arrangement timelines. If you've been paying your suppliers every 30 days, be prepared to now wait 45 or even 60 days before they are paid. The PE firm will also work hard to sell any inventory you have and turn your assets like buildings or machinery into cash. Also, since they are not in it for the money but instead to build equity, most entrepreneurs would rather you lease than purchase their company. As a result of this, they would want you to lease rather than purchase your firm, so as to maximize revenues over time. 6. PE firms will also pay themselves Private equity firms pay themselves with profits that are not from the company. They do it by utilizing any extra cash they can generate from the business. Another important cause for PE firms to prefer cash is that the sooner they can get the funds out of their firm, the more time they will have to play with their own money. Look at it like this. If a PE firm puts in $15 million into an acquisition, after extracting $15 million in cash, the returns from when they sell the business are much higher. That is why they will put a lot of debt on the company as you can minimize how much cash you need to invest to get the most rewards possible. Remember, PE firms are not the devil. It's just the nature of their company and industry. The best businesses find a balance between making money and all of the other factors involved in running the company. But remember one thing, they are there for the money, not the interests of your business. So, before selling to a private equity firm, be cautious and put yourself in their shoes. Find a buyer who will maintain equilibrium between the company's requirements and their personal profit. It might be rare, but they exist.